activity here appreciates everyone's energy and the last time we had a bit of energy like that was a couple of weeks ago in Pro Park. My last day in the academy was on the 27th of June 1986 and the reason I remember it so well is I, I sat an A-level Irish paper in my last A-level and it was also my 18th birthday. So on the 18th birthday I walked out of St. Patrick's Academy ready for life as I thought I was and the same as these guys here and like yourselves folks, you're excited, you're anxious, you're sometimes feeling a wee bit sort of insecure about things but in general folks we went out into the big bad world and it's not as bad as people say and it's a world of opportunity now. In many happy times in this school, in the shape of the person I am today, and one of my first memories of being in the academy was in 2003, sitting in the old technology suite, Mr. Lewis, who we brought in his old three medal, and passed it around, and now I've got one of my own. My memories of Pepper Ball here in the academy is just really enjoyable times, just playing with your school, your, your schoolmates, your, your classroom friends, you know, uh, just having a great bond with everybody on the team. and. It was probably the best footballing days of your life, you know, everybody was so close to each other and got a few important wins along the way and got picked up a bit of silverware, so it was just it was great memories. Well, if I have any advice for anybody, it would just be to enjoy your football, because that's when you're going to be playing the best, you know, go out every day and just try and express yourself, just try and give your best to the team and always, always help the others around you. If you, if you stick together and get, get yourself in a, with, a, with a good group of people, you'll go, you'll go a long way. Like. Sometimes you don't know where you're going, and for you as a, as a young age group, um, it, can, it can be tough at times to know where you're going in life. And, and I know a lot of us probably have goals and, and goals and ways we're going, um, but don't panic because there's people out there to help us. Fergal spoke about the likes of your teachers and your, your, peer, your peers there, so um, always reach out for help. And I suppose now leading up until our, uh, until, sorry, World Mental Health Day on the 10th of October, um, some people do feel down at times. and. Um, they, do, they do get it tough and I think everybody sort of has them days, but look, as, as the slogan is, it's okay to not, not, to not be okay. Um, my best memory for playing for the academy was probably the year we reached the Macquarie Cup final in 2015. Um, the whole reason why I came to the school was to play Macquarie Cup football, so to get that achievement um, was great in itself, although the result in the day didn't work out. Um, it was still get, great to get that running. The way I got into performance analysis was through my job in IT. So I uh, studied IT here in the academy and went on and done a HND in business IT. And from there, I just developed on and, and done video work for local clubs. Uh, my advice to any young people here in the academy is to always work hard, and hard work really does pay off to achieve your goals. I was once here um, as a student at the academy, and I loved every minute of it and just getting involved on as much things as you can. I have, I have a lot of thanks for the, for the staff and the community here that there is to be involved in such great football teams.